are, we are, sound the freaking alarm. It's episode 14 of the Kotaku Australia podcast. Joining you today for a bit of goofy and silly fun is me, Ruby Innes, the funniest monkey in the enclosure. And I'm joined by David Smith, who comes to see me thrice a day to throw a banana in my cage. David, what's for lunch? Is it another banana? Mate, I've got good news. Two banana. Oh, I know. I asked my upstairs. My brother in Christ. Oh, that I is know. exactly oh, I what I want to hear. Carved off a little budget. Second banana. Great huh? news. Pretty good. I'm I'm so glad. <laughs> the zoo is uh, uh, declaring bankruptcy. Yeah. Because that one banana. Uh, These bananas. Actually costs a lot of money. Inflation. Gotta, go, gotta get them out. You know, you know? inflation coming this- for all of us. It's a, it's a, you know, fresh produce these days costs so much money. That's true. Uh, so much so that it can bankrupt a zoo. I mean, what could it cost, Ruby? Ten dollars. <laughs> oh, rest in peace to a queen. <laughs> Love. She was the her. best. She was the best. Yeah. Um. But yeah, well, welcome to the Australia uh, p- podcast, Kotaku. Um. <laughs> me, me name Ruby. Me no having a stroke. Me just sound like this. Oh, him card uh, good. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, well, we talk about the games that we've been playing this week and what you could be playing next week. Well, well, we were. And uh, today, uh, I think I'm going first. You Is are. That right? You are. Yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to talk about two games um, one that I can talk in full, and mm-hmm. one that I can just talk a little bit about. Um, and the first one that I can talk about in full is What the Golf. And What the Golf is made by Triband Games, who are the geniuses behind uh why did I say what the golf? Because I think you wrote what, what is the wrong golf with on me? our on our podcast. I wrote document. what it the says golf what the golf. But when it's not I what the mean golf. What the car. Yeah. We run a tight ship around here, boys and girls. We really do. You're my editor. You're supposed to I'm supposed to catch wrong. that. And I didn't. <laughs> That's on you. That is. That's, That's on mine. you. <laughs> I fucked up. Uh, what the car? Good grief. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm playing what the car. I played golf ages ago uh, when I first got Apple Arcade um, because uh, the you know good folks at Apple um, decided to uh, you know lend me an iPad for uh, for my drawing. And also for my writing, uh, my my game playing, and also my writing. You could say that as well. Um, so shouts it out. But uh, that has also given me the opportunity to try out stuff on the Apple Arcade. And look, that I won't lie, there are some duds. Uh, standard mobile fare, but there's also some really really good stuff. Like Gibbon Beyond the Trees is a perfect example. What the Golf is a great example. Uh, and most recently for me personally, um, cause they released 20 new games on it. Uh, one of them was what the car from Triband games and, uh, it rocks. It's very silly, very goofy, same sort of vibe as what the golf where like you, are, uh, you know, traversing this kind of like hub world, um, with different themed areas, uh, except rather than being a golf ball or a guy who is hitting the golf ball uh, or a chair or anything like that uh, that has something to do with golf, maybe, uh, you are a car. And you're not just a car. Mm-mm-mm. You're a car with legs. You are a car with two legs under you. Think uh, the Flintstones, except uh, the the wheels are not on the ground. And you're not pushing the car. It you has, are the car. It has wheels and, and legs? You have legs. Yes, it's got wheels on it for aesthetics. So you know that it's a car. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but it's got legs. It's got two human question mark? Legs. Um, and yeah, it, it it rocks. It's really silly, really funny. Um, it's a car game. It's not a racing game. It is a car game. And it's just so much fun. Like, I don't know. It, it's it doesn't take itself seriously at all. Literally every episode, uh, uh, every episode has a different theme. So there's like jumping and sports uh, and long. It's very good. 
and uh, each level starts with uh, like a play on words um, related to the the level or literally just like car with legs. And it's like, all right, you know what, car with legs. That's on God. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, it, ro- it rocks. It's very silly, very funny, um, hard, surprisingly challenging at yeah, times. Right. Um, like I've died a whole bunch in in multiple levels, uh, so it provides a good challenge. And it rocks. It's really, really fun. Uh, if you've got like an iPad, iPhone, Mac, um, Apple TV, any of those, and you haven't got Apple Arcade, I highly recommend getting on it. Um, it's it's a good service. It's like to me, it's the same as getting like Google Play, uh, Google Play Pass on your Android, which I also would recommend if you're looking for a uh, uh, what's the word um, curated experience when it comes to mobile games. I would recommend Google Play Pass, uh, just like I would recommend. Apple Arcade. The only difference is Apple Arcade gets ex- exclusives, and one of them is What the Car. So, highly recommend What the Car. Um, it rocks. Uh, but also, if you're bummed that it's not out on anything else, don't worry, because What the Golf, which I mentioned so much at the start of this, uh, is available on Switch and PC, and that was like a year after it was out on um, on Apple Arcade. If yep. not, like, uh, on Switch, it came out, like, less than a year. So, look, you may have to wait, but worth it because it rocks. It'll um, get there. So, yeah. And then the other one, which I'll quickly just mention because I only got to uh, preview it. I'm still playing it, not going to lie. But, like, uh, uh, I got to release my preview, um, and that's After Us. And After Us is very journey-like. Uh, it's very sad. It's a, It's an environmentalism tale you know, and it rocks. It it looks beautiful. Moving around feels fantastic. Uh, the, the fighting sequences, like the, the sequences with enemies feel intense. Um, part of me feels like it doesn't really, they don't really need to be in there, but at the same time, like, I don't think they're badly done. Mm. Um, and I feel like it really pushes the fact that you, Gaia, who is a spirit of life, you're not a violent being like you're not you you were not made to fight and yet you know you've got these enemies coming up to you that want to fight you uh want to destroy you and so you have to do whatever you can which is throw your throw your heart towards them uh which will set them free it's like visually and and conceptually it's it's absolutely fantastic it beautiful i can't wait i'm I really can't wait to play more of it, and I can't wait to talk about it more because um, it rocks. No. So uh, That's a great yeah, preview. That, you can read that one on the website right now. You can, and you can also read my little mini review of What the Car. So, Which the devs uh, apparently loved. We got, a, we got a little retweet yeah. from them this morning. That was cool. Oh, yeah. I love Tribend. Um, I, I, I love them so much. Shouts out. I love you. Good um, bunch. Good bunch. Yeah. Once love again, people it feels yeah. incumbent on us to, to point out we're, we're big fans of Apple Arcade on the show. We've talked about it before, like quite extensively. Not sponsored, just really like what's on there. <laughs> nah. And the funny thing is, is like, uh, I think a lot of people think that we are sponsored by mm. different things because we talk about them positively. But like, we just like to talk about the things that we like. Legally, we have to have a warning if we're sponsored by yeah. something. If we were sponsored, you like, would know. Like we, we would love a sponsor. If anyone would like to pay us to do this show, that would be amazing. Money, please. Sponsor the show. Money, yeah, please. like no, we, we uh, if we're if we're sponsored, we'll let you know. But in the meantime, we just really talk about things that we like. We just like stuff. Wow, wow. womp womp. Hey, time to yeah, talk about David, stuff I didn't playing? like. I don't know. What, yeah. <laughs> I did not like Redfall. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm like the last person coming in on this one. All the reviews went out. Everybody knows what's gone on with this with this poor game. Um, Redfall is the latest. Uh, I don't even want to say immersive sim because it's not one from Arcane Studios. They are a studio that is known for making immersive sims. They love. They made games like Dishonored. They made games like Prey. Uh, Deathloop came out a couple of years ago. Great games. They are a studio with an immense 
pedigree. Um, they are known for making excellent games that encourage the player to experiment. Um, there's a lot of fucking, fucking around and finding out in, in, in those games. And people have come to really love Arcane for that. They're one of Bethesda's premier studios for that reason. Uh, Redfall, boy, oh boy, uh, did they miss the mark on this one. It, like I saw a few people online describe this game as being a swing and a miss for Arcane. And I don't think that, I don't think that's true. Because to say that it is a swing and a miss suggests that there was ambition driving this game. And it doesn't feel like there was. That's a hard thing to say, but it really does feel like a game that was made off of a checklist. Um, it's attempting to do something similar to Left for Dead. Um, that sort of four-player PvE, uh, player versus environment, um, movie monster shooter. Uh, except where Left 4 Dead was about zombies, Redfall is about vampires. Um, it takes place in a small town that is under the thrall of a an enormous number of vampires, an amount of vampires that makes Sunnydale look like it's pretty chill around the Hellmouth. Um, and your job is to basically take the vampires down and return some sense of normalcy to the town. There, is, there are so many aspects of this game that feel like Arcane could do an awful lot with them. You, you see the town and right away, it feels like the most boring place on earth. It feels like going to an amusement park where everything has been created out of like ply boards and like movie sets just stood up to look like what it's supposed to look like. Some vague oh approximation <laughs> of a town. It feels hollow and empty, and I never thought I'd say that about an arcane game. Um, arcane is known for creating places that feel real, that feel lived in. Um, you look at Dishonored, and that feels like that feels like a game set in a real place and time. You can believe in that universe. You can't say that about Redfall. It just feels so copy pasted, um, like assets that have just been replicated around different biomes just to give it some sense of life. But there so often isn't any. The shooting is average. It's trying to do a destiny thing or the Borderlands thing of like, shoot guy, number come out. Number come out, you level up. It sucks. Like it doesn't feel good. The auto aiming is really bad. Um, it just, yeah, I... I to make matters worse, like I tried playing this multiplayer with a few friends and I couldn't convince anybody to keep playing with me. Everybody I played with bailed after like a couple of hours and I had to keep roping in different people and effectively starting again uh, because it just couldn't maintain anybody's interest. And if you try and play this on its own, man, it's even worse. Like it's just so much worse on its on your own. Um Oh, it sucks. It sucks having to beat a game up like this because you always try to look for the best in 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 any game that you want to talk about critically. You try to look for the good. And there are little flashes of arcane DNA. There's a sequence at the beginning of the game where you come out of a, a, a boat, like a tanker, um, and it is this moment frozen in time, right? Like there is a giant wave uh, cascading over the boat that is just frozen and towering above you with a sun setting over the town in the distance framed by the curl of the wave and right there and then i thought oh that's an arcane shot like that's a really that feels very them artistically driven but the problem is that the visuals the graphics don't stack up it looks like something off a of ps3 like it just undercuts itself at every turn um oh boy what a what a disappointment um and yeah it puts xbox in a pretty unenviable position the you know having Having the Activision Blizzard merger um, smacked down by the UK and then Redfall falling short in the same week, uh, they're in a bad they're in a bad spot. Um, yeah, uh, I I wish I wish I had better things to report about Redfall. Unfortunately, I don't. I am sure Arcane will be made to continue working on it, and hopefully, they can extract something out of it. But for now, it is consigned. I feel to with a category of game pass curiosity you might download it give it a try realize it's not all that much uh and 
forget about it, unfortunately. Relegated to the bargain bin, I feel. That is me for this week. I wish I had something better to report. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. I got to say, that's review. so funny. That's like, that's harsh. But like also like justified harsh. Mm. You know, you're not, you're not go- goosing on it just because it's like j- just no. for the hell of it, you know. No. It feels it very brings justified. Me, it, I take no pleasure in beating it up like that. Um I I there there are very clearly an awful lot of people that have worked really, really hard on that game uh to get it out the door. And it just it doesn't feel like something Arcane would make. I don't understand how it happened. I don't know where it came from. I don't understand the vision for what they were trying to do. I would really love to know. I would really love to like if somebody gets to do a deep dive with Arcane on this game and like get and like create an oral history around it, I would can read or watch the hell out of that Uh, because i think it would be a fascinating story of how it happened because like i say it feels like a game created from a checklist it feels like a bunch of stuff like a double fine like double fine type documentary about it love it yeah yeah like tell me about how a game like this happens i would be so so interested to know for sure that is it that is my that is my sad review of redfall uh probably give it a miss bummer Mm. i will uh i'm i I don't know, this part, like, I, I kind of feel the same way as I did last week, where it's like, I'm still kind of keen to play it because it's mid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Listen, you might be and the only other person it. I can rope into it. Yeah. <laughs> My only thing is just like $120 on it. It's so oof, doof. Like, charging that much? Oh, like, yeah, get it on Game Pass. Don't don't give them $120 for this. No way. Yeah. So game game pass it is. Uh yeah. game pass it is. Yeah. And uh now I think it's about time we freaking talk about what's coming out next week. Oh hmm? Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All I mean right. we're all gonna be playing Zelda, you... aren't we? Yeah. It's already so, gonna be out. You know, if you're not interested in Zelda, um which is surprising, I'll say. You know, if you don't have a Switch, mm-hmm. if you don't have a Switch, mm-hmm. uh, we've got some options for you yeah. in terms of what else you could be playing. And, David, I think you've probably got the biggest release of next week, Ooh. so why don't you I do. mention it? Uh, yeah, it's like a 2K drive. I'm actually keen to play this. I love a good racing game. Like, I'm I'm wearing, like, if you're not on, if you're on the audio podcast and you're not watching the video podcast, I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing, like, a Mercedes F1 jacket right now. Uh, I'm big on a racing game. I love a good driver. Uh, this one looks real interesting. Uh, this is like, this game is not what I thought it was. I thought this was going to be like a Mario Kart style, like racer where like you, you've, you've got a bunch of Lego cars and you, you, you can, you can make some sort of customizations and, and, and take them out on the track, little flexes for online. This is like Forza Horizon, but I can turn my car into a fucking hamburger. Sick shit. Love it. Um, yeah, we're, we're apparently down for a review code. Uh, I am looking forward to playing that. Uh, hopefully I will be able to talk about that on next week's podcast and I look forward to doing so. Um, but yeah, looks like Forza Horizon, but I can build a car that looks incredibly messed up. There's nothing I don't love about that. That's great. Incredible pitch. Uh, yeah, that's Lego 2K Drive. That one is out. Uh, I did not get the... I didn't May 19th. Get... May 19th? On uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, uh, PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Thank you for doing your due diligence on that one. May 19 is also my birthday. <gasps> Thanks, 2K. Oh, it's a happy birthday, David. It's it a happy is. birthday, David. It is. It's a very happy birthday, David. Uh, all right. Devo. Next up, coming out on May 16th, uh, is... Humanity. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. Think human lemmings. Uh, and you are a dog. Hmm? How about that? How about that? How about that? Uh, I did a little demo. I, I tried the demo of Humanity uh, around the time it was announced, actually. It's from the same people that did Tetris Effect Connected. Uh, so they're all about doing real interesting and unique ideas uh based off of other things if that makes sense taking taking a concept that has been done and turning it on its head 
And that's what they've done here with humanity, where you're a little dog, you're a little shining Shiba in you, um, and you can control what hoard, these hordes of people do. It's just hordes of people walking all in a line, and you can tell them where to go and what to do, where to jump and uh, where to stop, where to turn, where to jump longer. Uh, and it, it rocks. It's it's from what I played of it, it's heaps of fun. It's you know it's a puzzle game. Um, but it seems like there's also like a a an underlying narrative as well. Um, that you know they don't obviously in the demo go too deep into. Uh, but it's it's a neat and nifty little thing, and that one's coming out on PlayStation Four and Five and PC on may 16th i'm i'm super excited for it i love a good oh, yeah. puzzle weird puzzle game and uh from what i played of it it rocks love it shiba inus are bossy enough to like take over the world like that you know oh yeah and like if a dog told if a dog barked but like i managed to understand that it was a command to go in a certain direction i would probably do that yeah just do what they wanted you know i would command's gonna be feed me but like i just do it yeah you know they i do it, it. They deserve it. Yeah. Lemmings likes are like big at the moment because the one next one I've got on my list is also a Lemmings like. Uh, that's yeah. Tin Hearts. Uh, it's made by Rogue Sun. It's coming from Wired Productions as the publisher. Uh, it is a little game about guiding a bunch of tiny little tin soldier toys through a toy box world full of object like obstacles. I was going to say objectives, but no obstacles. Stuff you've got to move them around. Stuff you've got to help them navigate. Um, I am so here for the Lemmings Renaissance. Bring that genre back because it is an, a cool and underutilized type of puzzle game, in my opinion. So it's really cool that there's two of them coming out in the same week. Uh, Tin Hearts is a really cool uh, sort of spin on that idea using little tin toys and putting them in a world that is much bigger than them. Uh, it creates a lot of opportunities for interesting puzzle dynamics and play. Uh, yeah, that looks really, really cool. That one's out on May 16. That's on PC. Uh, you can get that on Steam. What's next on your Amen. list? <laughs> oh, What's shit. next on my list? <laughs> I'm just saying it. Um, next on my list is a dating sim. Mm -hmm. And you're probably thinking, Ruby, why are you talking about a dating sim? It seems like you guys actively avoid talking about fuck games. We do. Uh, other than that one time, I decided to talk about the foot game, <laughs> which isn't really a game, and then received an onslaught of attention from yep. uh, foot lovers and the developer. Uh, Re you know. Regrettable. Yeah, that was that was that was entirely my fault. That was very funny. I still think it's hilarious. It was so, funny. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here to talk about a dating sim um, called Love, Love, Joe Biden, the Joe Biden dating simulator, and it is made. <laughs> it is made by Firebug Games. Um, I think it's their first. I might be wrong. I don't want. I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to get things wrong. Uh, no, I am wrong. Um, you might know them as uh, the creators of uh, a game called Insomnia, but also a game called New York Rat Simulator. Uh -huh. So, you know, they're in the business of making games that make you think. They're doing a door. And uh, this... <laughs> God. I love it. This dating sim is set post-presidency. Um, so Joe Biden, no longer president. Um, he's much older than he already is, uh, and he is in a retirement home. Um, and you, uh, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God. You know, if it breaks um, her immediately, it's going to be good. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's got, it's got Joe Biden and it's got, uh, W big buff wolf men um and you potentially see cartoon joe biden naked uh oh and there are quote unquote kills <laughs> okay <laughs> and ice cream um and mm. yeah 
and one note that you know talks about the gameplay and it's a dialogue driven visual novel of course um <laughs> one of the lines are you only need one hand to click through oh the fucking hell are we sure this isn't a fuck game um, I think I I am absolutely gonna play this game. It oh, looks no. so silly and so cute, like to the <laughs> tune of like "Hat to Full Boyfriend." Um, uh, except it's Joe Biden. I once played a game, a dating sim years ago, where you dated the characters from Pacific Rim. What the? Fuck? It was a. It was incredible. It was so hyper specific. It was crazy. Um, and you know there was also the the KFC date sim where you try and date the colonel yeah i remember that um one. but yeah you know so it only makes sense that that uh a new uh dating sim comes around uh where you know you're dating joe biden <laughs> potentially in a retirement home so makes you think i'm more of a hunter biden guy personally <laughs> uh so Will they find this game on Hunter Biden's laptop? <laughs> Oi. But uh, <laughs> that one comes out on May 18th. So uh, have fun. <laughs> have fun with Joe Byron. Uh, <laughs> what else have I got? Uh, oh, hey, Starship Troopers Extermination is coming out this week. That was one that sort of caught a bit of attention last year when they announced it. Uh, this one's coming from Offworld Industries, who is also uh, publishing it. It's very much based on the 1997, uh, was it 97? I think it was, um, Paul Verhoeven movie uh, based on the Robert Heinlein uh, sci-fi novel. It's about a bunch of soldiers on a bug planet uh, shooting bugs. And it's very much from the trailers that I can see based around that one scene from the movie where Rico's roughnecks hold up in like a big base and have to shoot a bunch of bugs to stay alive. Um, mm. Yeah. It's like a, what is it? It's described as a co-op FPS that puts you on the far off front lines of an all out battle against the bugs squad up, grab your rival and do your part as an elite deep space Vanguard trooper set to take back planets claimed by the arachnid threat. I mean, as a PVE shooter, this is one that will appeal to like guys of a certain age. And by that, I mean, guys of my age, like who grew up like yeah. watching this movie and really, really loving this stupid movie. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm keen. I am keen to play this. I'm sure like it'll be fine. It'll be firmly in the fine pile as a lot of um, uh, like movie tie-in games like this are. Um, but I am keen to try it out with a few mates. So keep an eye out for that, for that on the website. I'm going to, Definitely play it and then write about it later. That one's out on May 18. Another birthday gift for Davo. Mm, they were birthday. They were um, birthday. And another one out on May 19th for it's our happy birthday thing. Uh is WrestleQuest. Yeah. Ooh, boo. Uh, Looking forward um, to this one. If you could not see that because you are listening to the show, I just did some sick moves. Um and uh WrestleQuest is an RPG where uh you are a wrestler. Um and it's made by Mega Cat Studios. Uh and it's this beautiful pixel art world where um you go from, you know, aspiring rookie to world champ by training, learning, glamming, slamming right up to the top of the pro wrestling food chain and uh i think it's it's like turn-based wrestling i believe so if yeah. that makes sense yeah t turn-based re wrestling with you know classic wrestling moves and match styles and all sorts of gimmicks um not to mention it's uh they've got freaking um they got real wrestlers right they got real wrestlers, so uh, there'll be like different worlds based on the careers of different wrestlers. If I'm, you know, if I'm understanding it correctly. Oh my god! Um, so you got Jake the Snake Roberts, Macho Man Randy Savage, <laughs> and Andre the Giant, and that's just the people who have been kind of like confirmed by the description. This is Kingdom Hearts um, for people who love WWE. Amen. And uh, it's it just it looks all types of silly and goofy. Uh, 
and I'm very excited for it. I, I think this is going to be so much fun. Um, yeah. The the uh, pixel art is like super, um, super detailed. Mm. Uh, you know, while still kind of being very uh, cutesy. Yeah. And the concept itself is just hilarious. So I'm very excited for this. Um, and and it kind of joins like a a, a a group of many different wrestling games that aren't really wrestling games, but are actually definitely wrestling games, but are taking uh, the idea of wrestling games to like a different, different uh, place. place, you know, yeah. instead of just being like uh, uh, your standard WWE game, um, uh, it's, this, it's a this lot seems more like out it's, there. This seems like it's doing the, like the kind of campaign mode that the wwe 2k games have been trying to do for years and i'm sort of made successfully engaging this seems like the better way to do yeah. that yeah it's like uh wwe 2k meets um uh meets earthbound fuck yeah come <laughs> it's on such a weird crossover. But like that's like my first thought it looks awesome i, I i'm going to be deep in this. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it comes 100%. out on David's birthday, May 19th. Oh, David's birthday. David's birthday. It's <laughs> a David's birthday. And <laughs> that's it for us today? Is that it? Oh, my gosh. We ran through it so quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Gang, thanks for hanging out with us for another week. We really do appreciate you being here. Um, hey, you can find us on social media. You can find us at Kotaku AU. We're on the Twitter. We're on the Facebook. We're on the, the TikTok. Please come see us on TikTok. They really want us over there. Um, you can find us on just about every damn thing. You can find me on Twitter. I am RuneWords, R-H-U-N, Words, over on Twitter. Come and see me. I'm talking about stupid shit all the time on Twitter. Ruby, where can they find you, mate? Um, You can find me uh, at Ruby Innes on Twitter, uh, where I am. And you also can't find me. And I was going to do, I had plans for a smoke bomb and it was mm -hmm. going to like. Listen, I fucking blew the budget on the bananas already, gone. man. Yeah. But the thing is, is like we used all the money on that second banana. So that was still in the script where I would say you can't find me. And then the smoke goes up. But I uh, about the fucking smoke bomb. That's, Come on. Oh. That's not happening. So, um, man. I guess you can find me. There's no magic trick I'm going to do today. Uh, it turns so, out if you offer a banana on Twitter, she might just like come and say hello because like she likes the bananas. Yeah. Yeah. Just offer me a banana, banana sundae, banana mm. smoothie, banana bread. Or maybe just any other fruit, really. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm big on fruit. Love we're saying fruit. throw an apple at Ruby, is what we're saying. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Ow. Not cool. Ouchie, Not ouchie. Cool. Hey, show's over. That's it. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye.